Hello and welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onin de Guzman, and our topic for today is Addition and Subtraction of Polynomials, Grade 7, Quarter 2. This tutorial video is all about addition and subtraction of polynomials. Specifically, you will state the rules in addition and subtraction of polynomials, add and subtract polynomials horizontally and vertically, and finally, apply the rules of addition and subtraction of polynomials to solve real-life problems. Before we head on to addition and subtraction of polynomials, let us recall first addition of integers. Say, for instance, number 1, we have 5 plus 2, so we have 7. Next, number 2, negative 8 plus negative 2, so we have two negatives, so meaning to say we add them together and copy the sign, so the answer is negative 10. However, on number 3, we have negative 4 plus 2, so we subtract the numbers and copy the sign of the greater absolute value so we have negative 2. Next, number 4. We have 5 plus negative 2. Again, we subtract and copy the sign of the greater absolute value so we have 3. And finally, negative 8 plus 20. So we will subtract again and copy the sign of the greater absolute value which is positive. So we have positive 12. Addition of polynomials is just the same in combining like or similar terms. You just have to group or associate first the similar terms by enclosing them in the parentheses before combining them. If they are already grouped, simply remove the parentheses, then combine the similar terms. Also, you can also add polynomials horizontally or vertically. In adding polynomials, use horizontal method. The expressions are arranged or group associated horizontally. Let's move on to addition of polynomials using horizontal method. So let's have example number 1. Add 4a minus 7b by 6a plus 3b. So the first thing that we will do is identify the similar terms. So we will list down 4a minus 7b plus 6a plus 3b. Next, after that, we will, okay, identify the similar terms. So we have 4a and 6a. Similarly, we have 7b and 3b are similar terms or like terms. Step number two, group the similar terms. So we have here 4a and 6a are similar terms as well as negative 7 and 3b. And finally, add the similar terms. So we have 4a plus 6a this will result to 10a, while negative 7 plus 3b, again, so we have a like sign, so subtract and copy the sign of the greater absolute value. So therefore, the sum of 4a minus 7b plus 6a plus 3b is equal to 10a minus 4b. Let's have a second example on addition of polynomials using horizontal method. Number two, find the sum of 4a minus 7b plus 9c and 6a minus 3b minus 4c. So again, we will identify the similar terms. Okay, upon writing the okay addition expression of 4a minus 7b plus 9c plus 6a minus 3b minus 4c. So we have the similar terms 4a and 6a. Also, we have negative 7b and negative 3b. And finally, 9c and negative 4c. Step number two, group the similar terms. So we have 4a plus 6a are similar terms. Negative 7b minus 3b are similar terms as well as 9c and negative 4c are similar terms. Then, we will add the similar terms. So we have 4a plus 6a, so it will result to 10a. Next, we have negative 7b minus 3b, so negative 7 plus negative 3, so it will result to negative 10. 
then annex B. And finally, 9C added by negative 4C. So again, unlike sign subtract and copy the sign of the greater absolute value, which is positive. So therefore, the sum is 10A minus 10B plus 5C. Let's move on to addition of polynomials using the vertical method. So let's consider example number 3. What is the total of 3x squared plus 14x plus 5? is added by negative 9x plus 10. So the first step that we will do is identify the similar terms upon writing the addition expression. So we have 14x as well as negative 9x as similar terms as well as positive 5 and positive 10. Next, align the similar terms vertically. Observe that 3x squared, okay, does not have, okay, its partner. Then we will align negative, okay, 9x, okay, with 14x as well as 10 to 5. After that, we add the similar terms. So we'll just simply copy 3x squared, then add 14x plus negative 9x, again, unlike sign, subtract, and copy the sign of the greater absolute value. So we have 5x. Then we have 5 plus 10. So this is equal to 15. So therefore, the answer is 3x squared plus 5x plus 15. Again, on our example number 4, we will use the vertical method in adding okay, polynomials. So add 3x squared y plus 6xy plus 8n. 2x squared y minus 2xy minus 11. Again, so our first step is identify the similar terms. If you say again similar terms, meaning to say the same variables with the same exponents. So what are those similar terms? So we have 3x squared y and 2x squared y. Next, we have also 6xy and negative 2xy. And finally, 8 and negative 11. After that, we have, okay, aligned the similar terms vertically. So we have 3x squared y plus 6xy plus 8. Then align 2x squared y, okay, below 3x squared y. Then we have negative 2xy and negative 11. Then finally, add similar terms. So we add 3 and 2, so that is 5, and copy x squared y. Then we have positive 6 plus negative 2, so that is actually subtract, and copy the sign of the greater absolute value, so we have 4, just copy x, y. Then 8 plus negative 11, so again subtract, and copy the sign of the greater absolute value, so we have negative 3. So therefore, the answer is 3x squared y plus 6xy plus 8. Now that you have idea on addition of polynomials, so this time we will move on to subtraction of polynomials using the horizontal method. So let us consider example number 5. Subtract 7x plus 2 from 5x plus 4. So the first step that we will do is the right the subtraction expression. So we have 5x plus 4 minus 7x plus 2. Take note that according to the problem, okay, we subtract 7x plus 2 from 5x minus 4. So this is our subtraction expression. The next step is change the signs of the second expression. So we have the second expression 7x plus 2. So this is what we call the subtrahend. Again, okay, so whenever we remove the parentheses here, we will change the sign of all the terms inside this expression. So what we have, we simply copy 5x plus 4. It is not affected. However, 7x will become negative 7x, while positive 2 will become now negative 2. Then after that, Identify and group similar terms. 
So we have 5x and negative 7x are similar terms as well as positive 4 and negative 2. So this is 5x minus 7x plus 4 minus 2. Then add similar terms. Take note that 5x, okay, plus negative 7x, so it will result to negative 2x, while positive 4 plus negative 2 will give us positive 2. So therefore, the answer is 2x or negative 2x plus 2. So let's move on to example number 6. Subtract 4y squared plus 5y plus 6 from 3y squared minus y minus 9. So our first step is to write the subtraction expression. So we have 3y squared minus y minus 9 minus the expression 4y squared plus 5y plus 6. Step number 2 is to change the signs of the subtrahend. So by the way, our uh, subtrahend is this expression or the second expression. So again, whenever we remove the parentheses, okay, under subtraction, so meaning to say all of the signs inside the second terms or the second expressions will be okay, changed to its opposite. So we have negative 4y squared minus 5y minus 6. And we will retain the signs of 3y squared minus y minus 9. Then after that, identify and group similar terms. So the similar terms are 3y squared and negative 4y squared. Then we have negative y and negative 5y. And finally, negative 9 and negative 6. Then after that, we will regroup or group similar terms. So, and add similar terms. So we have here 3y squared minus 4y squared. So it will result to negative 1y squared. However, we don't need to write 1 here. Next, negative y minus 5. So again, it means this is negative 1 combined with negative 5. So it will result to negative 6 and copy y. Then we have negative 9 plus negative 6. So that is actually negative 9 minus 6. So we have negative 15. So therefore, the answer is negative y squared minus 6y minus 15. This time, we will use now the subtraction of polynomials using vertical method. So let's consider problem number 7. Subtract 14x plus 8y by 23x plus 2y. So the first step that we will do is to write the subtraction expression. So we have here 14x plus 8y minus 2x plus 2y. Then change the sign of the subtrahend. So meaning to say we will just simply copy 14x plus 8y. Then change the sign of all the terms inside the subtrahend. So we have negative 23x minus 2y. Then after that, identify and group similar terms and add similar terms. So we have, again, 14x plus negative 23. So it will result to negative 9x. Then we have here 8y plus negative 2y. So that is actually positive 6y. So therefore, the answer is negative 9x plus 6y. Let's have another example of subtraction of polynomials using the vertical method. So let's have number 8. Subtract the expression 3x squared y minus 3x plus 2 minus the expression negative x squared minus 3. Again, on our step number 1, write the subtraction expression such that we have 3x squared y minus 3x plus 2. Then minus, we have negative x squared y minus 3. Then, change the sign of the subtrahend. So, again, copy our, okay, uh, min when 3x squared y minus 3x plus 2. Then, we have now pi, uh, positive x squared plus 3. Take note that we align 3 to positive 2 because they are similar terms. Likewise, 3x squared y and positive x squared y are like terms. Then, Identify and group similar terms, then finally add similar terms. 
So we have 3x squared y plus positive x squared y. It means this is actually positive 1. So we have 4x squared. Take note that this is a blank. So negative 3x is simply copy negative 3x. Then 2 plus 3, we have 5. So therefore, the answer is 4x squared minus 3x plus 5. So let's have the application of addition and subtraction of polynomials. So let's consider this problem. Find the perimeter or sum of all sides of the figure. Let us study the given figure. So if we say the perimeter, we will add the sides or all the sides of the given polygon. So if this is 5x plus 2, so it means that this is also as 5x plus 2. That's good. Next, if this is x plus 1, so meaning to say this side is also x plus 1. So again, to find the perimeter, we will add all the sides. So meaning to say we have the expression 2x plus 3 plus 5x plus 2 plus x plus 1 plus x plus 1 plus 5x plus 2. So again, if we will add the sides, so we will result to 14x plus 9. So therefore, the perimeter is 14x plus 9 units. So by the way, that ends our discussion in addition and subtraction of polynomials. Again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Thank you. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Goodbye.